Good time zone. It's me, the Deja Double T, here and existing with some Honkai Star Rail. As I have off stream completed all the side missions that I wanted to do. And yeah, I'm ready to go off into Pentagony. The only side mission I have currently is the one for Boot. Not Bootleg, it's Boot Hill. I keep thinking it's Bootleg for Boot Hill. But that can be done at some other point in time, probably on stream. But yeah, without further ado, it's time to go to Pentagony. Which I'm kind of excited for, kind of not. Yeah. Who knows? Hi, Bob Bob. I mean, this chair doesn't have railings to hold on. Just to say, Pom Pom. The train is about to make the jump. Oh. Five, okay. I'm gonna sit up with four, him too. Three, two, one. Oh, what? Huh? Um. Huh? What was that? This isn't the, the Star Rail. Huh? What's happening? Uh, uh, hello? <sighs> Not another one. Hi? Come with me. Where are we going? I I I can feel that aside. Questions have no meaning, but I will answer you as best as I can. This is the border between reality and the memory zone, a dreamscape. Okay. Right this moment, you and I have coincidentally shared the same dreamscape, and appeared in each other's minds. This is the land of dreams' inaugural welcome for us. Okay. Worry not. For very quickly, you will awaken from this dream. Forget everything that has transpired with naught but a faint lingering of loss. I, I have good memory. Pay no mind, for this forgetfulness happens with each new dawn. It is an occurrence that we have become accustomed to for so long. Uh huh. So, come with me. I'll take you home. Okay. Left, the end of the corridor. So there's no navigation. There oh yeah, yeah. yeah. L let me explore around, you know. Ah, floating tea and stuff. Cool, cool. Hmm. I wonder what Aeon or card that might be. Oh. Oh, I'll to go that way. What if I go this way? I'm not there. Turn back. Darn. Hey. Let me explore. Whales! It's the whale! Galaxy Ranger Acheron. Acheron. You can Galaxy call me Ranger? You I've always been calling your name Archeron. Oh. Open this door. Take a look at the mesmerizing dreamscape. Well, you can still remember. This is... Uh, no way. What, have we been here before, Kalos? This way. No, I go every way but the way, and then I'll be there. After you. Am I supposed to walk up the wall? Oh. Okay. Up the wall we go. How is this even... Jack of all trades. She can hear the thoughts in my head. You guys are sharing the same mind. Well, dreamscape. Why not? I got a bat, and I'm not afraid to use it. But that's it. Interesting. There We're seems to be more there. people. Still walk? No. 
Now I am become trailblaze. Remember the walls. No fan. You know what? Let's be weird. You're funny. If you can crack jokes, you're probably fine. Don't stop. Don't turn back. Don't look down. Or up, for that matter. Oh, we're on the roof. You know, I should have noticed that this whole time. Kind of crazy. Ah, the charming audacity. To think that you, of all people, might emerge victorious, dear gambler. <sighs> Three chips are enough. All or nothing. So, over there was a venture in Dr. Ratio. These voices, they're just shadows of the dreamscape. Pay no heed to them. Hi, Sir Wolf. How do you intend to pull them off the stage? All we have to do is present the truth, and they will naturally reciprocate. Interesting. Yeah, okay, so it's the Robin who you stage belongs only to you, little sister. But if I can't sing, what meaning does a stage have? I like it says pay no me pay no mind when it's like uh, mm, maybe something super important. Dance partner of my choice has already chosen. Okay. Is that it? I feel like there could be something around the floor or something to find. Hmm. Oh. Oh, that is. Oh, I don't like that. Oof. <laughs> realm and rise as you would on any other day forget this fortuitous encounter and return whence you came but before you do i would make a request of you like <laughs> you may think it somewhat strange perhaps even rude but i wish to know have we met somewhere before Perhaps you have, probably not. I don't know. What do you mean? What's going on? Technically, yes, because I've met you from uh, using you as a unit from my friends. Uh, and also, I pulled casually for you, but didn't pull for you. So, what do you mean? You evoke memories of an old friend in the haze of my recollections. You crossed blades with me, much like this surreal dreamscape where we stood close, yet forever out of reach. May I ask you a few more questions? I tend to forget things, which is why, rather than memories, I'm accustomed to using my emotions to capture what I normally wouldn't otherwise. The answer is inconsequential. Your spontaneous reaction is what matters. Mm -hmm. For instance, when you awaken in your room, your lips speak several names. Are they your companions? Family? Enemies? You seem to have forged unbreakable bonds with many people and many incidents. Might I ask if you fear losing these bonds? I cannot bear such a fear. If it means losing them, I would. If it means that I would disappear, I would. I feel no fear. I don't know. I feel like for Kayla, I'm going to say, I don't know. For me, they are important. Mm. 
but like myself. If there was a vast dreamscape, so lifelike it's indistinguishable from reality. There, no one faces life's separations or deaths. Everyone attains their deserved happiness and lives joyfully ever after. What if Penacani isn't real? I would ask, would you wish to stay? I would no matter the cost. If I didn't pay, have to pay any price, I would. Depends on the price I'd have to pay. I would never want to live in a dream. I don't know. See, I would answer four. Personally. But again, what is for Kayla's? I don't know, because... We'll see. Now, imagine if this splendid dream were fated to fall apart. Friends, family, strangers, followed by the gentle breeze, soaring birds, the stars, and ultimately yourself. Everyone and every face they remember, the joy and the heartaches, the vows sealed and those left hanging, all will inevitably march towards a predetermined ending. If you had grasped the journey's finale right from its inception, I would ask, would you still embark on this journey? So if you saw the, f the future, and knew how it ended, would you still do it? I would abandon it, the price is too dear. I would abandon it, I have already tasted the dream beauty of dreams. I would abandon it, trailblazing was never my intent. I would blaze trail without hesitation. I don't know. I would, but I want to answer I don't know. So. We're just gonna go for it. Also, hi Kavu. I know this is hard, you don't have to be hard pressed to make a decision. As I have said, the answer, the answer is, is inconsequential. Hearing, touch, thought. Through these, you gain emotions. Cherish them. With emotions, we make choices. And so we return to the original question. I would ask, do you still remember me? I seem to remember you some from somewhere before. No, it's the first time we've met. Understand. Mm -hmm. How interesting. For a split second, it felt like countless versions of you, alike yet distinct, gave entirely different responses. That was my final question. Thank you. We all have our paths to walk, so we shall bid our farewells. No, it wasn't, Kavu. But how are you, Kavu? I'm only answering it as my character. I know how I would respond in these situations, but I want to try it. Will we meet again? You haven't told me how to leave this place. Will we meet again? The golden dream is getting restless. In the coming long night, I'm afraid you will face many tribulations and witness many tragedies. And finally, your sight will only see. But please believe me that in that monochrome world, there will be a glimpse of fleeting red. And when you make a choice, it will reappear before you once more. Do you say that in reference to your like move set? Like your ultimate becomes black and white and there's only red and your character? What you must do now is ponder its significance. No! You told me to think? <laughs> I don't have a brain for that! And then... you can return to the waking world. That's where we all find our answers. Oh, she just killed me. Well, she killed me in a dream. Uh huh? What? Huh? Uh, what's wrong? Why are you crying all of a sudden? I don't know. 
I may have dreamed a tragic future. I may have dreamed an old friend. I dreamed of a riddler spouting strange talk. I dreamed of a slash by some. <laughs> Sure, Pom Pom. Sure, sure. And before you step out, swing by the bath and grab March. She's waiting for you there. Is March 7th still packing her luggage? Yeah, is she still packing her luggage? Wait, I need to talk to Pom Pom. Dang it. No, I need to talk to Pom Pom. Like, to love, get my like rewards and level up. Fine. Fine. Hey, March. <gasps> Bubbles! Ever since you decided to keep bubbles, the Strato's temperament has become even more unrestricted. It roams as it pleases between the space station and express, as if specifically following your footsteps. Aw, I didn't know that. Although it's such a just a bunch of data, bubbles really does seem fond of you. Perhaps it even dreams of electric sheep. Aw. Uh, pat on the head. Squeeze his nose. Aw. Tug on his ear. Had its butt. Yeah, that's enough play. Wait, wait, there's more. Speak to the trotter. Good piggy. Oh. You know, technically, they're like some weird space alien anomaly. Okay, anything else, Bubbles? Okay, there you go, Bubbles. Stay there. Don Hung, I'm busting in your room. Don Hung? Don Hung? Don Hung? Okay, fine. Be that way, Don Hung. Sure, let's go. The planet of festivities, the universe's biggest and fanciest amusement park awaits. There better be food. <laughs> that's the only reason why I would ever go to the amusement park. Actually, that's a lie. Food. <laughs> now we're here at last. Well, the family sure doesn't play around with their entry protocols. Our bags probably know what it feels like to be a celebrity now with all that attention. I don't know how I feel about the family. The family does not sound like a good thing, especially Mafioso. The cellar is stable. How so? Was worth it. Just look at this grand hotel lobby and those endless rows. They're all rooms, right? Just think of the number of guests staying here. <laughs> Where are our rooms? Come on, Mr. Yang and the rest must be at the front desk. Let's hurry up and meet them there. Okay. Let's go. Welcome to the Reverie. May you experience an unforgettable holiday. Uh, <clears throat> if you need help checking in, please head straight to the concierge. Hi, Misha. It's a child in a dream. Do you work at this hotel? I like how she said, you're not gonna remember this dream. Well, all right, you know what? I'm Misha, a bellboy working here on Penacony. Pleased to be at your service. If you need help with your baggage... Uh, over here! Something's not right! You have a keyhole for your eye. Interesting. Should you need assistance with moving luggage to your room, feel free to contact me. Uh, please, go ahead. 
Don't keep your friend waiting. Mm, I kind of want to keep them waiting. Wow. Oh, yeah. yeah, let's talk to the bellboy. Welcome to the reverie. May you have an unforgettable holiday. <clears throat> Should you need assistance with moving your luggage to your room, feel free to contact me. I hear that sounds yeah, pretty unique. Is. The reverie does not only provide accommodation for its guests, it is also connected to both Panacone's reality and dreamscape. Guests from all over the cosmos come here to immerse themselves in a marvelous, dreamy journey. Hmm. A good question. Maybe not all dreams are false. Well, at least the ones in Panacone aren't. Or perhaps should I say they are... Uh, another reality? No, not March 8th. Also, Yang, I hope I'm not spoiling anything for you. Like, if I'm too ahead of you, like, it's okay. You don't need to watch me. I've been like, I think the past two months, I've just gone through so much of the story, done so many things, done all the side quests, and now I'm just here, finally to experience Panacone. Tired from all the dreaming? The hotel's dream pool provides a comfortable dream experience, so don't you worry about that. Uh, uh, are you asking me? Uh, hmm. Well, it's not too bad. Many guests come and go, and I get to hear all about their adventures. Interesting. You'll know what I mean when you enter the dream. Panacone will not disappoint. Uh, yes, this hotel is Panacone in real life, and Panacone in the dream. Oh. Miracles are born. Land of lavish joy, a grand banquet where the curtains never fall. Mm, uh, it's hard to describe its magnificence in words. In any case, you will surely be odd. Ah, you are well informed indeed. It is an opportunity provided by the family and a tradition on the planet of festivities. Everyone okay. gathers in the hall, reveling in merriment, pursuing opportunities. Taking all they have on one desperate gamble, and finally, their dreams become reality. Okay. Also, Kavu, there is no March eighth because we didn't find a random person floating in a chunk of ice on March eighth, which we still need to know about. Well, we don't need to know, but March seventh, what we found out was that we tried looking into our past using the uh, the Matrix of prescience. And the memory keepers were like, nah, you don't need to know that. I have nothing else to ask. Have a pleasant stay in Penacone. No, no, she's not the avatar or anything like that. I heard a big story coming soon. Uh, even if we stood on each other. Chapter representing the family, declaring the five lineages rule and maintenance of the dreamscape. Interesting. Ooh, is this a venue? No, it's just a. Please do not drink excessive soul glad before entering the dream pool. What is the soul glass? Ooh, a chest! Okay, that's Pentaconi's chest. Okay. Uh, what? Okay, oh, because there's, there's also not reality. Right. Right. On every sparkle? Yeah. Flammable goods are not permitted on the premises. Strange plant. Oh, is it the one with the strange plants? Oh, legend has it. Uh, but oh, but, okay. Interesting. What is it? Please hide the luggage. Only late again. Hmm. Loot. <laughs> I'm gonna try the taste of the Epoch of Soul Glad hurry toward the golden hour. Uh, what if I said no? Hey, oh, so it's this. At the concierge about? We've just arrived and there's already drama? Let's not think about it, March. We have other things to do, which is like explore. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. There's like a little like origami bird structure thing. I didn't realize that. That's cool. 
Ooh, messy. Wait, wait. No, that's the plants. I'm gonna go the way that. Anything is possible. Hmm. Anything is possible if you can control the dream. Yes. Um, but if you cannot, that's a whole other story. Because, you know, like, living in a dream where you can't control a single thing is a total problem. Oh. No, it's not available. <laughs> I knew it. Is it supposed to tell me it's not available too? Yeah. Okay. I don't see there's like any documents hidden around. Also, that's a lot of floors. I would I would feel like my fear of heights kick in if I saw that. I would be like ah. Okay, I think that's all the stuff I need to find for now. What's happening? I'm sorry, but your name really isn't in the system. Oh, we don't but exist? In the information I received from the Astral Express, it states that we already reserved rooms. Please, check again for me. Yeah, I don't know if I can handle that cover. Like, I feel like there's a certain level that as high as I want to go before my mind says, Alright, if things go falling down, <laughs> I'm falling yes, pretty, la pretty far down. The Astral Express for platinum guest rooms, whose names include Mr. Welt Yang, Miss Kimiko, Miss March 7th, and Mr. Don Hung. These are the only four names on the reservation list. Do I not exist? Yes, I'm Mr. Don Hung, reporting for duty. Why not? Dong Hung. True, but I could try to leave it easier, you know? I, I understand. No wonder our friend's name here is missing. When we responded to the family's invitation, he hadn't even arrived on the express. Uh, something came up in Don Hung's schedule, and he couldn't make it. I have an idea. Uh, could you reassign his room? It's still the same number of people. Oh dear, that's like it's such a high elevation then. Astral express. We can vouch for his status. I... even if that is so, I'm afraid... Show architects Lance. Ah, here. No, I'm not doubting your status. It's just. It's just. It's just that right now we're on the eve of the Charmin Festival, Hanagami's most important moment of every era. And with the family. I threw question marks, even though I know who you are. Guests from all over the cosmos have thronged this place. Well, hotel security is on high alert, with zero room for error. And with such a last-minute change, it really isn't something that this young lady's words can resolve on a whim. My esteemed guests from the Astral Express, please do not make it harder for her. No. We are sorry for <laughs> all F customer support. <laughs> seems to have no, I'm kidding. Might I As somebody who's worked in customer service, I yeah, I would not. <laughs> I am the humble adventuring of the IPC Strategic Investment Department, a non-performing asset liquidation specialist and subordinate to Supervisor Diamond. I was cordially invited by the watchmaker. <laughs> I also happen to be a traveler that's had to stand behind you for quite a while. Oh, yes, yeah, sorry. Because we have one we have one giant area for everybody kind of crazy i've heard that the ipc has also received Penaconi's invitation so forgive me if i'm mistaken but you must be the representative the ipc's elite certainly does have an extraordinary air about them i suppose <laughs> that an exceptional figure such as yourself wouldn't mind paving a convenience for us I must be hearing things. Paving a convenience? 
Shouldn't I be saying this to you instead? No. What's in Himiko? I've been waiting here for more than ten minutes. Aw, you know ten minutes. Ten minutes is worth to me. Then, wait longer. I feel like I feel like Himiko's looking at him like, bish. <laughs> you absolutely cannot miss out on. The IPC's influence runs deep and wide and their word wields the utmost authority. We hope to borrow your status to vouch for him. As such, you won't just be sparing much of your invaluable time, but also forging new friendships. <laughs> well, this is interesting. And how will my new friend benefit me now this is a topic very much worth getting into just as, just as we are guests of guest the, watch the watchmaker why don't we make ourselves comfortable in Penatoni before getting to know each other more elaborately <laughs> sounds good but miss navigator I must point out that that if I do something about it now the time saved is from my own effort, not a favor from you all. I. <sighs> but what you said in the second half, I loved it. Friends, yes, nothing is more precious than friends. It's fashion, Kavu. The world may never understand. Like Going forward on this Panicone trip. I'll be counting on all my trailblazer friends here. Looking forward to a delightful time with you all. I'm glad you've put it this way. So about the vouching... <laughs> there you go, miss. Please allow him to check in on my account. I have an appointment with the family's Mr. Sunday. I will ask him to handle this matter later. Don't worry. I won't cause you any trouble. Um, but... But? Ali, just a moment. The family cannot allow guests to enter a dream while bearing burdens. Oh, speak of the devil, look who's here. It's Sunday, the most handsome man in Penicone. Along with the I'm so sorry. Across the universe, Robin. I I don't know how I feel about the wings and the hair. Like, it's giving Angel, and I don't know how I feel about Angel sometimes. He said you were the most dashing person in Penatoni. How interesting. I've kept you waiting, Mr. Aventurine. This way. Please. I know. He also has a halo. Speak in private. Or it could be one of those back halos that are just like... Eldritch God thing. Where's Adventure? Let me talk to him. Let me fight him real quick. Oh, the dream phone. Actually, let me check out this phone. Hello, tell public dream phone that can make calls to different moments. It is said to have that the eyes on the phone dial come alive. Oh. You are calling the blue hour. May you find romantic encounters at the ball. Oh. No, no. Oh. Anyways. Hello, friend. How have you been? <laughs> I sincerely hope you don't mind. Friend, I do mind. It's fine. I don't mind it. My it's fine. For any perceived slight. To show my sincerity, I offer you 10,000 credits as a gesture of goodwill. Make that 100. You know what? Fine, I'll take it. That's the spirit. Nothing should come between friends. Tell me, whatever you need, it's on my tab. Are you sure? Please excuse me. I have some matters to attend to. This would be funny. So this is how you case, basically get infinite I'm credits sure we'll throughout the game. Soon. Just like infinite credits. Oh, I did get ten thousand credits. Cool. Oh, there's a mission right here. This hotel is even more luxurious than I imagined. Can we really afford this, Father? Oh, a penny. Uh, your father has worked hard his whole life. Remains is all for the sake of this trip.
Are you are you looking for your mother? No, that's not how I react. I'm like, thank you. Now I can actually use it for things that I need in my life. Such as living. <laughs> Maybe she's stuck in the dream? It's just that. Same, Yang. Same. Me, I'm like, I need more subs. So that I can get more emotes to the channel. Item attain. Oh. Okay. So I guess we're gonna be searching for mother as like a side quest that I'll probably forget about. But this is why we look at random people that weren't there before. Or names, I guess. Dennis. Oh, Dennis is a menace. Anyways. Well, wait a minute. I'm sorry, but are you the The No. <laughs> I never thought a cutie like yourself would be a fan of mine. Oh, it really is Robin. To run into her in person here. It is an honor to meet everyone. Are you also a member of the family on Penaconi like him? <laughs> Truth be told, I am a guest like everyone. Penaconi is my hometown, but I left when I was older. I was graciously invited this time to return and sing a song at the Charmony Festival. Hmm. The person you speak of is Sunday, my senior, and one of the local leaders at Penaconi. He is also the organizer of this era's Charmony Festival. He heard you all ran into some difficulties and sent me here to provide aid. Alas, I arrived a little later than usual. I sincerely apologize for any unpleasantness during your stay. Why is your voice become distorted? Please, be at ease. I have instructed Miss Ally to resolve the system error as soon as possible. I have also upgraded your rooms as token compensation. Please wait a moment for the hotel to arrange for suitable accommodation. Okay. Mr. Aventurine has an appointment with the Oak family and has checked in prior. On his behalf, I extend his apologies to everyone of the Astral Express. And wish for an amicable partnership moving forward. Thank you for stepping in to resolve this matter. But are you sure about the rooms? I wouldn't want your other guests to feel we were being given preferential treatment. Please, rest assured that the family will personally undertake communications to handle this. It is only right that we, as the actual administrators, Relieve you of any problems during your visit in Penaconi. I apologize for taking up everyone's precious time, and we shan't keep As you, you should. Any if you need anything else while in Penaconi, the family stands ready to serve. May your dreams be beautiful and pleasant. Yeah, Robert, why was your voice becoming distorted? That's, I don't know. It's kind of spooky me. I'm already a little winded. I wouldn't run into any more trouble. Who? <laughs> Are all the family names so strange? Uh, this is just the stage name. I guess. I thought so too. It's most likely some rule of Penaconi's or the family's. Okay, there's no queue in the lobby now. Let's go find Miss Allie. No, I'm dreaming. Not again. I'm There's only one time I got stuck in a dream loop, and that was a whole adventure. Your check-in procedure is complete. Please forgive us for any previous inconvenience caused. This is your dreamscape pass. It serves as your hotel room key, as well as a directory of all the amenities and information you require at the Reverie. It even provides smart assistance. So an app. 
Great. Another app nowadays. <laughs> yeah, there's only one time I got stuck in a dream loop, and that was, like, an adventure because, like, there was something loud and trying to bang on the door and trying to break in. And when I woke up, I just kept thinking, I was like, oh, I'm no longer dreaming. And then it happened again, and I was like, wake up again. Like, it took me f three to four times to get out of that dream loop, and I was, like, just annoyed. I'm like, you know what? Come and get me. I just want to wake up. At the same time, it is also Penicone's special one-of-a-kind souvenir that belongs only to you. You can use the Dreamscape Pass's provided clocked-in feature to record every moment of your wonderful dream, save your favorite happy bits, and create a Dreamscape scrapbook that is uniquely yours. Regarding the method of usage, the Dreamscape Pass will guide you through the process. I wish you all pleasant dreams in Penicone. You may take the elevator over there to reach your guest room. Alright! Let's move out! Yeah. Pretty much, Kabu. Items obtained! Dreamscape Pass, which is basically- Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, uh, they automatically- uh, ugh, I don't like how they automatically install my phone. Invitation to your Dream Chaser. Welcome to Pentaconi. From the moment you set foot in the reverie, a splendid dreamlike journey had already lifted its curtains. It is not easy to put down the hustle and bustle of real life, and extraordinary courage is also needed to make the choice to full-heartedly embrace the dream. We have the confidence to promise that, thanks to the family's most meticulous management, only sweet nectar and melodious tunes await you ahead. Interesting. Before you officially enter the dream using the dream pool, please make sure you have already read the dream advisory. 1. Maintain a calm mind. M intense emotional fluctuations may cause unexpected sensations when entering the dream, such, a such as the sensation of falling, weightlessness, or pain. 2. Please enter the dream lying on your back. Please do not attempt to enter the dream while facing down, kneeling, or other positions. This will minimize the risk of drowning. Interesting. And three, please do not ingest any hypnotics beforehand. The dreaming fluid in the dream pool is already a fast-acting sedative and does not need external pharma school assistance. If you cannot enter the dream despite having soaked in the liquor for a long time, please contact the hotel staff. I'm still reading. Kind of rush me. I'm gonna continue reading this. Please do not enter the dream naked. Your initial appearance in the dreamscape is the same as how you entered it. In order to not startle other visitors, please enter the dream only after you have been sure that you are appropriately dressed. Please do not assume the identity of another individual. The family respects every guest's identity and privacy. Please do not impersonate, attack, or defame other guests in the dream. On behalf of the Oak, Alfalfa, Nightingale, Bloodhound, and Iris families, we wish you happy dreams. Ah, guest notice. Dear Dream Chaser, during the present period, the Reverie Hotel and the Golden Hour of Dreamscape is undergoing reservations. If you opt to enter the Golden Hour, you will still wake up in the hotel in the Dreamscape. However, you will be unable to leave the room and cannot use the hotel's regular services. We have des designated a uh, temporary process to enter the dream for guests so that you may successfully land in the Golden Hour. We apologize for any inconvenience that this has caused to your journey in the Dreamscape. Maybe this is anything of that. New handbook page unlocked the reverie. More happy pages will be unlocked as the, you progress through the Trailblaze mission. Quit everything you encounter? Okay. Hmm. Oh, you get stickers! Sure. I just wanted to be exactly like one square. Close enough. I still gotta collect more. Ugh.
Dream advisory. Oh, that. Ah. I pressed the wrong buttons. I always press guest notice. Okay. And then there's a part to three to be continued. So I need to meet more people. And yeah. And find more stickers. Thank you for exploring the world, completing missions, and participating in happenings in the world. Okay. Alright. My a dream world. That's all. And why do you, sir? Oh, how look like you have a headache. Oh, can't talk to you. Oh, all right. I think that's it. That's it. We're gonna move on. So many sounds in this place. Oh, we're going to the VIP room. Okay. Was not expecting to be part of the VIP floor. No. No. Okay. Investigation. I do wonder what's over here, but I guess we'll see there in a second. Investigate. No, I don't push for a dreamlike uh thing. I'm good. Our rooms are down this way. This is a long hallway. Is it just me or is this hotel too big for its own good? No, it's not just you, Welt. I feel the same. Alright, currently already we get this domestic domestic disputes inside the rooms. Oh, oh gosh. People chest. There's no sound at all. You try pressing your Oh. Hello, I'm here to check the water meter. Oh. Cool! <laughs> Casual guy cocks gun! <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, okay, so we've got domestic dispute. Almost got shot. What's next? All work and no play makes a smart child stupid. Your water meter, you know? To see if your water is watering. How left it under the moonlight? Chest. Yes. We love free loot. Wait, Doctor Blues. Obviously, I'm an origami bear. You can call me Doctor Blues. Got it. When you've helped them find the required number of origami bears, I'll give you rewards. Interesting. Wait, so I should we go back up? Oh, that's a clock. Add a security. How can you help me? Okay. You know, I do crazy things. Alright, so I'm gonna go back up because I need to check out that other origami bird. I didn't talk to it. Because there's more origami birds. Alright, there's, there's doors. Hello, door. So there's that one door, that door over there, that door over there, okay. So that person doesn't want to work, okay. 
we're finally getting some normal stuff because those two doors, the first two doors were a little wild. <laughs> uh, you heard the sound of a running shower this whole time, steady, empty, and changing. There's no significance, it's just a little creepy. Alright, some creepy shower scene, lovely. Alright, so far, three out of five. Kind of suspicious. There could be so many things. Open the door. You have no idea why, but this voice suddenly rings out in your head. You can't help but wonder what is hidden behind in the store, so you decide to... Let's do the weird thing. Interesting. Okay. Alright, so basically I want to say 4 out of 7, 5 out of 7 were kind of questionable. Alright, so there was a bird that I need to talk to. So there's Dr. Blues and then there was this bird over here. Origami bird? Will you talk? No? Okay. I guess I have to figure out the thing first before I can talk to the bird. Anything is possible within a dream. Anything's possible within a dream. This is really giving me like cruise ship, but it's more like space ship. Uh. Oh gosh, it's so big. Into the VIP lounge, I guess. Ah, oh, the IPC people. Lovely. Lovely. We love the international. Peace Corporation. We're finally here. Let's all head to our rooms first and put down our bags. Sure. Well, how about a drink first? Penicone Soul Glad is very famous. Sounds like it sounds like say, you're saying so, so glad. We may be thinking of the same thing. Do you remember the invite that the Express received? The family's esteemed guests are cordially invited to Peniconi to participate in our grand celebration. That's why we're here in the first place. Hmm. You recall correctly, but there was more to this invite. Witness the impossible in the realm of dreams. Find the legacy of the Watchmaker, father of Peniconi, and thus, the answer to the question, why does life slumber? <laughs> I don't remember that part of the invite. You mean there was a, a hidden message? This is the part that intrigues me. The invite sent by the family was nothing more than a music box that, when wound, would play an accompanying tune. But the box that was sent to us was slightly... Unusual. The music it played had off key notes in the background. I recorded these dissonant notes, and they were a perfect match with the gravity wave frequency when the Express made its warp jump. Also, the Express engine's spatial curvature was its encryption key. Interesting. A distress call method regularly used by the nameless. I can't be certain. It may be a masked fool's trap. From the execution itself, 
The Rippers or Inquisition spirits could have done this themselves. When did you discover this? When we were handling that Law 3 Stellaron matter. I told Pom Pom about it first thing. It's no wonder that IPC Ambassador also mentioned this watchmaker. The invite he received must also have contained a hidden message, and it seems like he decoded it. There's something else on my mind. When the invite was brought up, that family leader mentioned being one of the actual administrators of Penaconi, and that it was their duty to relieve us of any problems. In hindsight, there was more to that statement. He also had Miss Robin with him. I'm no singer, but her voice sounded a little strange. Would a singer really take to the stage if their voice wasn't in top shape? Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Are you saying you suspect that the family did not send the invite and is hiding something from us? It's possible. The fact that the family sent out invites to the other factions is already unusual. And your discovery confirms that there could be a third party involved. I take back what I said. This event is becoming more interesting with each passing second. Mm. Why didn't you tell the others? We shouldn't interfere if this is just an internal affair of Penaconi or the family. But you said so yourself. This could concern the Trailblaze. Well, I did. Which is why... Which is why? Set off, I told March 7th and Don Hung about this. Except for my character. So I was the only one kept in the dark then. I just, I too just found out about the my thingy. And again, well, ain't no biggie when go out to the baseball is not. <laughs> Penacone's situation is getting complicated. Let's tread lightly. Who sent the invite? What is the purpose of gathering all of the factions into Penaconi? And why does the family choose to remain silent about their knowledge of this? There are too many unanswered questions. We must use the utmost caution before we go deeper. Right now, let's just focus on the conductor's request. We'll collect intel while enjoying this wonderful vacation. Penaconi is, after all, a famed resort of the cosmos. Not many get a chance to even visit in their lifetime. Head back to your rooms, get some rest, and prepare to enter the dreamscape. It's time to head back to my room. Before entering the dream, I should probably talk to the rest. Yeah, but first, let me explore the rest of the area. Oh, you're a robo. Oh, I was going to lurk. Even though I don't have like a lurk command. Why isn't there a sugar free song? Quarter Star Princess?
You already forgot me. Rude. The audacity. I won't talk to you. You're too fake. What's Martin doing? Sure, Anderson. Sure. I'm not an adult yet. Who needs a drink? Well, I am an adult, but still, I'd rather not drink. I recommend to the literature men. Sure. Okay, so Pika White Grape Soda and Classic Soul Glide. What does Soul Glide do? Huh. a little uh, loud for my taste so this is how astral high society does things huh i guess so they say he's a historically important figure in Penaconi, and tales of his life have been handed down over generations such tales encourage believers to come to the planet of festivities to pursue their dreams he's an interesting fellow that's for sure, and his legacy still has the power to draw people in. But how and why he's involved with that invite, and why his name popped up in the encrypted message allegedly sent by a nameless, I've got no leads for now. Not the family. family believes in the harmony, and their altruism is well known across the stars. A trait that is intimately tied to Panacone's stability and prosperity. But some factions have always been wary of the family, uh, suspecting that their benevolence and eloquence belie an ulterior motive. So far, it seems to me that the family treats their guests with courtesy, so I don't think we need to worry about that for now. The Dream Panacone is divided into 12 moments. Personally, I'm interested in the moment of soul. It's a visual dreamscape steeped in Panacone's history and civilization. Panacone's Grand Museum, the Primal Waking Library, the Paperfold Academy. The pasts that we chase may be stored in these places. Hmm. Uh, past the guest room's dream pool is the real Panacone. Let's get ready to move out. <laughs> Pleasant dreams. But I'm not ready to dream yet. Well, I just don't want to dream. I hear a chest. It's probably up there. What's wrong? Not turning in? One can't discuss the planet of festivities without mentioning the watchmaker. Penacone's household name and figure. Fortune, fame, status. He built everyone's futures with his bare hands and became the symbol of dreams. But the veracity of these stories remains untraceable. Many have their own opinions on the watchmaker's origin and past. And there are even some who suspect he's a conceptual construct of the family. For now, I do not think this invite is linked to the Watchmaker. His legacy 
It sounds more like a marketing hook to drum up more traffic, if nothing else. Hmm. Uh, an IPC ambassador who knows more than he lets on. A silver-tongued businessman. A flamboyant and debonair aristocrat. He could be all of them. My instincts tell me he's much more than meets the eye. Before the dust settles, we should maintain amicable relations with all camps, while keeping our guards up. The Dream Pentacony is divided into 12 individual dreamscapes. I've heard that the destinations vary for different people when they first enter the dream. As for me, I look forward to the moment of scorch sand. Its wild wings, taverns, and festive choices have more of a nameless trailblaze vibe. The moment of morning dew is also a decent choice. I can use that chance to visit the family. Uh, you must be exhausted from everything that's happened so far. Even if you're trailblazing, you mustn't forget to relax. Good night, and sweet dreams. Where is she? Has she returned to her room already? I doubt that. Oh. Are you now? After doing my shopping, I'll get all dolled up in an evening gown to attend Miss Robin's show at Pentacony Grand Theater. You know, it's weird. Welt noticed it too, about how Miss Robin's voice sounded somewhat weary. I can't quite put my finger on it. But it was different than usual. Could she be tired out from her cosmic concert tour? Insisting on performing under such circumstances. Miss Robin is a superstar among celebrities. Here I was thinking of some good old relaxation. But nope. This event is a wild ride. The various factions deciphering the riddle. A power struggle of past legacies. It feels like we're in a live action detective saga. Who knows? Maybe we'll even witness classic scenarios like family feuds, tragic losses, worlds torn apart, espionage situations, rivers running red with blood, stuff like that. This is simply too thrilling. I too want to see a river of blood. How could that? Uh, don't worry. Welt and Himeko will have our backs if things go wrong. Let's 
just make the most of it all while we're here. Odd. Why is my room door open? Who knows? Hmm. Seems the older I get, the harder it is to find a chest. Okay, so currently there's two more chests, but I guess I have no access to them just yet. Or I haven't found them. I'm just gonna like assume that I can't find them just yet. I'll find them later. For now, hmm? into the door. He's in my room. How Hi. We meet again. This is my room. What are you doing in here? This is your room? Meet again, friend. Why not? Smile. <laughs> That's right, pal. <laughs> Calm down. I'm just here to soak in the festive vibe. This may be your room now, but half a system hour ago, it was still mine. Yeah. A lucky block number, a lucky floor, a lucky room number. You have no idea how much what? I went through to book this precious space. Seven, seven, seven. And now I've given it to you. Gosh. Treasure it well, friend. You're the one who transferred it to me? You're the one who arranged check in? What well, doesn't matter, you need to leave. leave. Oh. You know, I'll be, I'll be. Amicable. Of course. What, you thought the family acted simply out of their own goodwill? Yes. Panacone's a true blue land of dreams. How many across the stars would spend half their lives just to acquire an admission ticket into the reverie? <laughs> Think about the type of people who can even afford to stay here. If it wasn't for my brilliant plan, you think the family would offend those bigwigs just to sate the paltry whims of an unsought guest such as yourself? Yes. <laughs> so sit down and let's have a chat. With everything said and done, I think I deserve at least this much, right? <sighs> so entitled. All right, what do you want to talk about? You should I talk to him in the world? They know more than I would. Right. I know nothing. You're the one I seek. Oh. Well, simply put, my friend, I need your help. You may or may not know this, but Panacone's far murkier than it seems. The family's eyes are everywhere, but you get the drift. My goal is simple. Help the IPC retrieve some things that belong to them in the first place. If you agree, when this is done, you will stand to reap great rewards, as well as the preservation's protection. Hmm. It's clear you're not just one of the crowd. <laughs> you possess a distinct quality, so magnetic that it could sway the outcome of any game. That power, you really don't wish to use it. Or, you don't want to be rid of it. Why not use it to etch your name across the stars? The power that men both fear and desire is right in the palms of your hands. <laughs> Mr. Stellaron, have I hit the nail on the head? How did you know? I don't know what you're talking about. How did you know? <laughs> I know now. You don't have to answer me now. Sit on it for a while. When the time is right, I will look for you again. Of course, you can confer with your colleagues as well. Or go as far as to use me in turn. I welcome that notion. Because it will also show me your true value. I don't do deals where I'm on the losing end. So I hope that friends... Don't let me down. I will think about it. <laughs> Very well. I was really the doors are really Before large. I go, let's play another game. 
a simple game to get to know each other better. You just have to guess which hand the chip is hiding in. It'll help you get a better grasp on my personality and the way I do things. Left or right? Get ready. I'm about to reveal the answer. One of them. I didn't get your answer. Oh, but that's fine because. Friend, the game has already begun. Allow me to make you an offer. One you can't refuse. Yep, no I had a feeling. It was in none of the hands. And no choice hello there. Huh? what are you doing in my room your room. what is everybody doing in everybody's room <laughs> well played friend you haven't been in Penacony long but you already know how to rope people into your cause oh don't misunderstand that was a mere reminder this place runs deep with plenty of unsavory characters. Don't forget to stay on your toes. Like, keeping your door closed. <laughs> I'll make my exit now. Have a pleasant stay. I really doubt that a closed door will keep me safe. <laughs> Have we met somewhere? Why haven't you left? Huh? It's my room. Why haven't you left? Why do I have to? <laughs> have I come to the wrong room? <sighs> this can't be. Before I said anything, I even made sure that I had the right room number. Do I have the wrong wing or even the wrong flop? <sighs> I'm sorry, this hotel is huge and the hallways all look the same. It's easy to get lost in here. Anyway, as long as you're all right. I should return to my room too. Before I go, can I ask you? Why was there red text? You may think it's somewhat strange, perhaps even rude. But I wish to know: Have we met somewhere before? Is that so? I haven't been able to shake off this familiar feeling since just now. Wait, is there red text? This is what they call deja vu. What is Acheron? <laughs> Not sure. Or this is your name, isn't it? Pleased to meet you. <laughs> you forget. That man mentioned it before he left. My memory's not very good, but it's not so bad that I can't remember details from just minutes ago. The Galaxy Ranger Acheron. This is what they call me. You can call me lastly a gentle reminder. There are people who possess unwavering resolution and faith, even unto death, and they do not wield such conviction for good. And on that man's face, I see such a similar expression. One who wears a blade must use it to cut eventually. And when a gambler has nothing to lose on the table, he will surely go for broke and bet it all on a final hand. That is all I can say. I thought you should know all this before making a choice. Goodbye. Acheron left. Strange. I can't shake off this odd feeling I have. Same. Uh, forget it. It's taken a while, but at least I can finally enter the dream. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Mm. Sorry, can you point me in the direction of the lobby? All these hallways really look the same to me. Seems like it's over. Time to work the dream pool according to the dreamscape pass's instructions.
Welcome to Penacony, honored guest. Welcome to welcome to Penacony, honored guest. I guess the time's rain. Oh, but the dream pool. It's literally a pool. Isn't that kind of bad? Please relax. Feel the ebb and I guess that's why they want you to kneel or do anything else because they want you to drown. Let me see. Just focus Bubbles. on breathing. And imagine you're in paradise. Imagine a dreamland. <laughs> um. I don't think I'm dreaming. What is it, Ratio? Why the long face? And there's a chest in there. Hey, I just realized. Where's that handsome bust of yours? You're late. By four minutes and 16 seconds. You better have solved the mystery of Akavili's fall. Otherwise, I suggest not tangling with the nameless. You mean you don't believe me when I say I truly wish to befriend them? Clamorous people do not make friends. Fun fact, the Atini Peacock boasts one of the universe's more jarring songs, and your choice of attire is somewhat peacock-esque. <laughs> it seems this peacock is short of a feather or two. The family's been rummaging through your things, haven't they? Yeah, by that gray-suited fellow. All the cash gifts and the box containing the cornerstones. Huh? D where are you going? Back home. To tell the corporation that some idiot ruined everything. <laughs> oh, it's nothing more than a few rocks. Why so serious? <laughs> Who cares if they're gone? Without that aventurine stone, you're nothing more than a doomed Sigonian thrall, sentenced to die by the IPC. Or is that serial number on your neck a cherished memento from the Amber Lord? <laughs> you're funny, I'll give you that. It appears our erudite friend has done his homework. It's my job. How would a gambler wrest Penacony back from the IPC otherwise? Don't worry, Doctor. I have my ways. The family fears interference from the IPC, hence their constant intervention. Or to play devil's advocate, perhaps Panacone might have always been a ruse under the guise of the Harmony. If you ask me, that invite is nothing but a self-planted diversion. A red herring. Or... Maybe they're thinking of pulling off something big during the Charmony Festival. Or someone else made the invite, and they acquiesced to elevating the magnitude of the plan. <laughs> well, regardless, be it the family or the watchmaker's legacy, as long as they're all useful to me. Get to the point. What's your plan? <laughs> well, no need to expand on that. It's not yet time to reveal my trump card. <laughs> Damned gambler. Any true collaboration demands trust. Did that notion somehow escape your Sigonian upbringing? 
Then, do you trust me? That depends on you. Hmm, so you don't trust me either. Now that was easy, wasn't it? Also, I didn't go to school, and my parents didn't teach me any of that. A pity. They left before they could impart any life lessons. Uh, I did not mean to offend. I'm not offended. But they did teach me that friends are weapons of the Avgens. Even under the watchful eye of the Harmony, we need as many friends as we can get. <laughs> Let's see. The Garden of Recollection and the Astral Express have already made contact. The Annihilation Gang... I uh, can't really count on them. The Knights of Beauty haven't given their answer. And as for the bunch at the tavern... Speaking of which, I ran into a woman just now who introduced herself as a Galaxy Ranger. The whole conversation felt... off. Help me look into her... huh? <laughs> oh, you don't really disdain me that much, do you? Well, seems like I'm on my own again. So this is... The dreamscape? The atmosphere here creeps me out. What was that weird noise just now? Nothing in this room either? Okay, fine. The dreamscape hotel under construction. Please receive instructions from the home service. Ask and enter the Okay. Wait, we're back in this room again. Watchmaker's advice, the impossible can also happen in dreams. Find it, and then you shall be granted an audience. This way! Can you see me? Over here! Please, come this way! I thought I heard a familiar voice. Ah, Wait. You're here. Wonderful! Can I go back? I was looking look at the red door. Oh, I... I thought you wouldn't right. notice me. Welcome to the Gallery of Thought. You can think of this as... Huh? You, this is a temporary interchange, so it looks a little rundown. The rep, I apologize for any unpleasantness in your stay. But if you enter the golden... Interesting. Oh, you're asking about the reverie in the dreamscape, right? You've perhaps read about it in your golden hour is one of the 12 dreamscapes in Penacone, and its time coincides with midnight. Here. The dream's time is forever stopped, but that doesn't mean that time is stopped in the dream. To avoid any physical or mental burden... Note? Uh, it wasn't trash left behind by the... It was my mistake. I failed to tidy up properly. You just go right through that door to reach Golden Hour. Hmm. He's just there. Behind this door is the real Penaconi. I'm looking forward to it. I should have gone through that red door. I always had a feeling about it. Oh, it's gonna bother me. It was like, ah, oh, so they click. And then I was like, oh no, I clicked them, no. Ooh, they're falling. Whoa. Is it not normal to fall? Ding. What's that? What happened? What? Huh? Are you all right? Oh, we have no more. <laughs> There's nothing to worry about. You arrived at the dreamscape. It seems like our guest here hasn't gotten used to the transition. Fret not. 
feeling a sense of weightlessness is normal for new visitors. Robin, please guide our friend in getting more comfortable with the new environment. Leave it to Nora. Interesting. You should be feeling fully in control now. <laughs> Welcome to Penacony. There was a song with the harmonic tuning. Relax. Just did some tuning on you with the resonance of the harmony to allow you to control your limbs freely in the dreamscape. Essentially, the dream of Penacony is a world formed by memoria. Only by fully understanding its nature can you move freely within it. It's like learning to swim. It's easy to sink at first when you aren't accustomed to the water. But once you get the hang of it, you can float and swim on the surface effortlessly. Well, theoretically you can. But it would be very difficult to pull off. After all, we don't really have an in-depth understanding of the memoria yet. Hmm. Unless you're one of the memo keepers of the Garden of Recollection, it can be difficult at first to manipulate the memoria as you wish. But once you've been tuned by the harmony, you can use the same laws of physics from the real world to understand how the dream world works. Oh, oops. <laughs> I've fallen into my professional habits again. I just can't seem to shake off this urge to be a know-it-all. <laughs> Don't mind him. He's always like that. Please, enjoy the beautiful dreamscape the family has built for everyone. We shall take our leave. Have a blast! Oh, yeah. Dreamscape sales store. Should I visit it? Hmm. Oh, this place is bustling. There are so many people living in the dreamscape. Ah, more reconstruction, not open. Fine. Lordly trash cans and 30 treasures. Okay. Oh, I do not like that chime. It was very like rever like it was a lot of reverberations of anything. Interesting. Before I go like up anywhere else, I gotta explore everything around.
Here's our boo. Aether Wars. Of course, of course. So you head down this way. I'm going to this side of the street real quick. Oh. Haha! Rules are made to be broken! <laughs> Uh. Okay. Oh, okay. So there's something weird and morphed to Hadi at some point. So I can go up this way. Let me finish like exploring this path. Oh, cash beer. Oh, it's just up there. a whole underside section too over there. <laughs> oh, I already have some of this. Thank you. Interesting to watch Cash just spew. Oh gosh, this place is huge! I was expecting like, oh yeah, like a small little thing, but no no no, there's like a bunch. Listen, listen, fight. Fight me! You won't! <laughs> Popcorn?
Gosh, there's gonna be so much to explore. I'm gonna be so mentally sidetracked. Okay. Ooh, recipe. Everything else I can leave there. I'll have it some other point in time. There we go, I fixed it. <laughs> Smack it with a bat and then put some coins in it, I guess. I guess. Sure. to the map that's the dreamscape sales store is that a giant i i guess so i feel like i'm like in a vegas shopping mall right now it's a lot uh Oh. According to the I'm full supporter. Sure, why not? I'm just gonna buy these just cuz. I have the money for it. I'll do it. Okay, where am I currently? I need to go down there, but I don't want to, per se. Okay, I want to continue exploring like crazy. Oh! Penelope and the guy looking for their mother slash wife. More of that note for searching. I wonder when that way like concluded. Let me tell you something fun. Interesting. I just really told a guy, you're not funny. Moving on. <laughs> like, all right. Ooh, potato fry sundae. Ooh. I'm just gonna get one. I see food and I just want the food. Even if it's in game and I can never have it. 
Wow, it's just a newspaper. Okay, we speed up cash. You're working just fine. Smash. Hmm. Oh. Chatting with the old lady. Oh. Understandable. Oh, she gave you a reward. Oh, lovely. Hmm. Let me see if I could investigate something. That children move. Guess not. There's a chest. On a child, sleep on a bench. You know what? Go off. Sleep on a bench in like in game. You know, like keep it meta. Build for it in love. Interesting. Told all about it. Let me run around. You should be fine around function dream stickers and pentagonic interaction with them allows you to enter their emoscape and repair these poor little guys. The emoscape, some building blocks are interactable and you can either drag to move them or click to rotate them. Use these blocks to help uh, clock into the path and collect the gears to repair the mine. In addition, there's a movable dream mirror that replicates existing paths. Once a path to a gear is complete, clock will automatically collect the gear. Okay. Oh. So weird and trippy. Okay, let me see if I can figure this out. So you need to go back somewhere. Oh, that's it. Okay. Let's 
kind of cool. Wakey, wakey. Dip that way, and that way as well. Interesting. My dream is right before my eyes. Oh wait, I've already clicked on this. Now you understand. Interesting dream to dream of more sheep. more interesting than casual throwing ice cream cone okay <laughs> all right okay oh 
Okay, so I finally actually got hit by one. So I can smack them down. Good to know. insulted by a billboard. I was like, yeah, that's what I like. They're like, interesting. I'm here to attack all the boards. Fear me. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're good, we're good. Everything's fine. to the map that's the dreamscape sales store. and you get back to the other billboard and smack it too is that a giant eyeball where is it where are you yeah okay very good The grumpy child, the child's like, I always got hit. Can't believe it. Ah. A dream about Eon. All right, so I think I've already explored all of this section so far. So I have the other half to explore. Well, I like I said, the other half, but it looks like it's all been shown up because I walked around. So I guess I can go back there at some point. Well, at 30. Oh, and there's a lordly trash can somewhere. I guess I can check out this eye. Oh gosh. This is your first visit to Pelicon, isn't it? No. the memory of the fallen Eon uh. Oh, this feels like a bad idea. Trailblazer from the Astral Express. Do you plead guilty? I won't 
make any explanatory or leading comments on the content of this dream bubble. In the dream bubble, you will be living through another person's past memory. Okay. Experience what the original owner of the memory once experienced. The friend details are missing from the dream bubble. Your subconscious will make up for it by substituting the missing content with something similar. Hmm. The sins you've committed are beyond pardon. But I respect every individual's right to carry out volunteer work. Such as? This place of thorough cleaning! No! Absolutely not. With my apologies. When I received this green bubble, some of the audio tracks were missing. Perhaps even the memorial unable to transmit the voice of Achilleo. However, I can make some adjustments to the dream bubble to improve your experience. <laughs> Meaning you can choose anyone's voice for Achilleo. As long as it's a voice you're familiar with, I'll be able to replicate it in your subconscious. Yes? Unless you're willing to accept it. Very unpleasant listening experience. Well, please, make a decision. I'll do my best to fulfill your needs. Let me see who else. Myself, of course. Myself and a gender. You know what, let's see, let's... I'll even pick a well, but let's see this. The replication is complete. To you, as well as the other passengers, you rode snowmobiles into the Tykean Stadium and disrupted the match, causing the match to be suspended. Because of you, 20 trailblazers were forced to repair the severely damaged exterior of the stadium for three months without pay. You plead guilty to this charge? <sighs> yes, I plead guilty. You sneaked into the Hai Zoo and splurged half an Amber Era's crew budget on 250 Nose Walker Cubs. You kept them in the restroom, where they were left to breed and multiply uncontrollably, causing other carriages to be filled with sewage. Do you plead guilty to this charge? <sighs> yes, I plead guilty. You barged into the kitchen of the dining carriage, claiming that the whole area needed disinfection. This resulted in the loss of 42 crispy, crumbly pawpaw pies! Because you also took the last serving of the express special in the fridge, I was left starving! You plead guilty to this charge? The first one is clearly a result of your own doing, but I do admit to consuming the last serving of the express special. Ahem! Don't get carried away just yet! This is only the beginning of your list of culinary offenses. There are cases of entire entries disappearing from the Express Data Bank. Plants in the parlor car being watered with soul glass. Disrupting the conductor's rest with noise. And a... Perhaps it is. I won't make any explanatory leading comments. And that's not even half the list. There are a to- <sighs> Sorry. I am indeed the worst nameless in the universe. No, you are not. Could there be anyone worse than me? Of course there is. <sighs> that guy who blew up the train into two pieces. Oh. That's all for the content of this dream. This dream bubble aligns with what you desire. Uh. This dream bubble is indeed Christ's brain. I'll buy it. Woo. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Ah. As this is your first time. I was hoping I would find some clues about the nameless up here. Oh. Welcome to Dreamscapes! Uh. 
Oh dear. Sure, why not? All or nothing. Hey, I wanted to know. I see it all and I'm like, can I, can I fluff? Even think about running away, you stowaway. <laughs> Sorry for bothering you. Please, I need your help. Sure, why not? Hey, look, she has an accomplice. Ah, good work. Now we can nab them both in one go. Oh, we're fighting. All right. Let's begin. Da, ba, da, ba, da. Let's make it quick. Head your bets. Ah. That's what you got. <laughs> Leave it to me. Let's go. I hit the mark. For another beating, <laughs> let's begin. The dice have the right because they steal my energy, or maybe I'll take it off. Watch your head. This is our chance. Sure, I'll play along. It's on me. <laughs> Leave it to me. Down. Let's make it quick. I hit the mark. Uh -huh. Step up, let's see. <laughs> let's begin. That's enough, boys. Sir, what's gotten into you all? Open your eyes and take a good look. Is this lady the stowaway we're looking for? Huh? Who? Who's this? Uh, don't you know him? Look at his brown hair and gray vest. Uh, he's the officer sent here by the family to maintain order at the Charmony Festival. I see. Sir, the thing is, we're trying to apprehend a stowaway. And that young lady there looks very suspicious. We're sure she's the one. That's nonsense. Take another look, will ya? The witness report says that the suspect is a lad with silver hair, and you guys are going after a girl with silver hair. Does that even make sense? She's our guest. <sighs> well, just get out of my way, and I'll take care of this. I said lad with silver hair. Uh, yes, I have silver hair. Uh, uh... Or is it because I have gray? For all the trouble you I'm Gallagher from the Bloodhound family. And those idiots are some young bloodhounds I've been training. Because of their youth and inexperience, they mistook an honored guest of Penacone for a criminal. This is indeed a regrettable mistake. I'd like to offer my sincerest apology to you on behalf of the Bloodhound family. You know, I did never notice that you had paws on your thing. Huh. Bloodhound family are guards of the Dreamscape. 
We're in charge of security here, and our duties include arresting people who try to enter our world illegally. We got a tip that some criminals were planning to take advantage of the festivities around the Charmony Festival to sneak into Penacone. Now that the festival is just around the corner, there are likely many shady characters lurking around. <sighs> Don't worry. I believe this is just a misunderstanding. How could such a lovely girl like you be a stowaway? <gasps> Thanks. Without your kind help, I wouldn't know what to do. Just part of the job. <laughs> I need to get going. If you need help, you can reach out to me through the young bloodhounds in this area. I wish you an enjoyable experience in this land of dreams. <sighs> I owe you a big one. If it hadn't been for you, I might have been taken away by them. Happy to help? You know... <laughs> You're, by the way, I've just noticed. You're a nameless, right? Is this your first time here on Penacony? How do you know? You have the Astral Express badge on you. I saw it on the big screen once. I also know that... You guys often travel around different places in the cosmos. Did the family invite you here? Uh, I'd be happy to show you around. Although the bloodhounds mistook me for a stowaway, I'm actually a local. My name is Firefly, and I'm from the Iris family. I work as a stage performer, although right now I'm just an extra. When there are no acting gigs, I work as a guide near Glocks Avenue. If you don't mind, I can show you all the exciting things around here. Maybe if I do my job as a guide, people will stop suspecting me. <laughs> well, I'm not today? booked for any performances, and most visitors to Penacone don't need tour guides anyway. They're all big shots who have their own... No, it's not like that. Hmm. Me? No, I I'm not... talk about that another time right now i want to give you a tour of the town over here it's not a bad idea to get to know about this place watch your step now i'll leave her for now because i want to wrap up my explorations for a bit There's like a full underground. I need to fix it. I want to like go through these. Ugh.
Eat all the ice cream just floating in the sky. I guess I'll have to go back and fix these up at some point. For now. I wonder why the thing's still living there. A little bit, JJ. A little bit. Ooh, ice cream. I want the floating ice cream. Alright, so there's this whole left side that I gotta go through still. <laughs> Welcome back to the college applications. Not the sword and tired, but understandable. Physical therapy is something. Cones that want to live. Stop, do you really have to eat me? Perhaps we can get along in peace. What am I going to eat then? <laughs> eat one bite. No. <laughs> Consumption. Sorry.
Yeah, I mean, for me right now, like, I don't know what's wrong with my body fully, but... They could be allergies, but, like, I'm kind of actually struggling to breathe, like... It was super windy outside today, and, like, when I was trying to breathe through my nose, like... All the wind was blowing in, and I was struggling to breathe a little bit, like, I felt like I was suffocating. And so it really might be time for me to look for a talk to doctor about this. Luckily, I have an inhaler. It could be, but like most of the time I'm home. So like, I shouldn't be struggling to breathe, you know? Or maybe something else that has been happening. Come back here! I like generally hope it, it's nothing. Cause right now I can't afford to, uh, to like you know deal with more ish at issues. Let me fix this clock. Easy enough. Nineteen out of thirty-two. Well, if there's more hidden somewhere that I haven't seen yet, that's fine. Find out this person is just rude. Also in I keep seeing them all with fluff balls. I'm like, I'm asking, can I, can I have fluff ball? All right. A new 
model of risk. I'm only gonna continue for this a bit and then take a like a, a break and then we can play a uh, Minecraft afterwards. Cause I might need my inhaler. That's what, like what I'm feeling like I might need soon. So trippy with this mirror. I'm honestly glad to find finally some like different items in the chest. Lordly trash cap out. Interesting. It's a whole full romance with models. I said the green one, why not? Some of that, get some of that. Please do not put the interference on the one 
See a bunch of gambling, and I'm like, uh, n n refrain, refrain, please. These kids are just shooting all these guys, just letting it go. All right. Sure, let's buy a bunch. So that means I've explored everything that I could. I'm still missing five more chests somewhere. Let's see, there's a floor three? Is it because I haven't been to floor three yet? Okay, I've been to floor one, floor two. Where's floor three? So floor three hidden somewhere. Okay. I'll have to find that at some point. I guess that's where everything else is. But I think this is also a good stopping point because I fully explored most of it so far. And I'll continue next time with some more missions. So that'll be it for Honkai for now. Thank you to those who came by for this. Yang, Kabu, and JJ. But I'll be taking a small break and then we'll go back with some Minecraft for tonight. Because I want to make sure that my health is okay currently because I don't know what's happening. But yeah. And if she's on YouTube, thanks for watching. And if you want to see me live on Twitch, feel free to come to Twitch. But for now... Digital T out and about and deuces. Have a good